Okay, guys, I got a lot of requests for this, so I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to do a poor job at explaining this, but I'll do the best I can for those who are really intrigued by it. Um, first of all, we're on Capo 1. This is Kesha. TikTok. You're on Capo 1, standard tuning. My guitar might not be tuned to the best it can be, but I'm just making this video real quick because i got to go to work soon. So, <clears throat> anyway... I'm going to go through the, the octaves and the positions real quick. First of all, all the octaves are all the same except for one, except for the A. Um, you're going to start on a D. You do your pointer, pointer finger on the A string in the D position. And then what you do is you go up two frets and then down two strings, or up two strings, however you say it, to the, uh, what is that, the G string. So you're playing two of the same notes, D and D, like that, right? So now, what you want to do, to play it right, you want to make sure when you do all these octaves, you do it exactly this way. You want your pointer finger to touch the string above it. You also want it to lay across all the strings below and just touch this one string. So you're actually only hitting one string. And then you want the pinky or your, your ring finger or whatever to hit the other D. So that's what you're hearing. Now... Let's cut right to the chase. First you're going to go D, and then you're going to go up to E, and then F. That's the beginning of the song. And then you go from D to A. This is the one that's different. Now we're on the D string uh, in the, I don't know what position that is. Um, what is that? Seventh fret. Seventh fret, your pointer. And then you go up three frets, and then up two strings. And then you got an A. Yeah, that sounds terrible, right? So anyway, it goes D, A, D, and then E and F. E, F, like that. And then the third time you go through is just D, E, F, and then B flat, F, B flat. B flat, F, B flat. And that's the whole, that's the whole thing. Now the only thing that you're changing throughout this whole, you know, the, the whole verse of the song is the, the rhythm that you play. So what I'm going to do is go through the, the rhythm part first because I think it's easier to learn that and then take away from it. So instead of starting at the beginning of the song, this is starting at the point of, uh, I'm talking pedicure on our toes, toes, that part. <clears throat> so what I want you to do is practice. Use your, use your right hand and you're just going to hit the strings every time and then you're going to put a chop in there to keep the rhythm. Like that. Let's slow it down so you can do it. Chop. Chop. That's your rhythm right there. That's like your snare drum. Now it's about when you press your fingers in on the left hand. Go. And that's it. So that's the part where you're going. Pretty kid on our toes, toes. On our toes, toes. Boys both up our phones, phones. Drop top and can I be the tea? Please go up to the party. Trying to get a little bit tipsy. And I didn't even play it perfectly when I was just showing you then. I mean, there's there's a little room for, you know, just get the feel of the song. Make it sound, you know, how it really sounds, I guess, if you will. Now, to simplify it, all you do is instead of your hand doing the chops and all the hits in between, you want it to hit only when you press your fingers. So once you've got used to... Uh, the, the the beat, you know, when to press your fingers in, you know, and doing the chord changes, then all you do is you take all that stuff out. And what you want to do is, for whatever the strum was, up or down, when you were pressing your fingers in to do the octaves before, you want to simply do the same, uh, the same 
the same strum when you do it. So like at the beginning, it's dun dun dun, right? That's kind of distinct, you know, when you hear that dun dun dun. It's, you're going to be doing a down strum and then an up strum and then a down strum. That's just how it goes. It goes. That's it, because when you were doing the other one, it was down, up, down, like that. So go down, up, down. And then uh, I think that'll help you keep your rhythm and your timing better and all that stuff. So that's it. And then to simplify it, I'll go through it uh, a couple times slow, and it's it's the same thing. So it's... <laughs> I forgot to do the A in there. <laughs> so anyway, the second one is bop, 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 like that. So anyway, you can take this video. I know it's uh, kind of vague, but I think it should be enough for those who are willing to learn and pull it apart. So anyway, that's the beginning of the song. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll have the other video posted fairly soon.